Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this manic Monday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light to you. And many blessings are yet to come. And if you can, can you please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And even drop a comment if you feel free. And if you are a returning sub, thank you for the support, love and light, and namaste to you, and love and blessings, and more blessings are yet to come to you too. And today I'm listening to No Woman No Cry. I was feeling Bob today, I was feeling him, and I heard this song, and then I heard him say, God, don't you sit up here and cry, don't you do that for me, don't you cry. So, I was just like, okay, I wanted to listen to Bob, you know, it got me all up in my spirits, and I wasn't crying for no bad reason, it was just like, it, I felt that song touch my soul, so, it, it was just like, you know, it just had me up in my spirit, so, you know, spirit guys told me to come up and make a video, and between that, guys, I will be stopping by and showing my love and appreciation for you guys, so if I haven't stopped by your channel yet, and I've been doing a lot of stuff today, so I'm going to go ahead and make this video, and in between making videos, I will be stopping by and saying what's up. So today my video is about Twin Flame 101 Dream Interpretations. And after, you know, I was telling y'all about my little drama yesterday. If you haven't watched it, you know, you got to go back and, you know, watch that video I made from yesterday talking about uh, repaid in kind. Um, but basically, um, you know, I was just like going through all these weird things. And it's just like when you're going through a lot of havoc in your life and, you, you know, you let the best, you know, the stuff get the best of you. You end up having subjective dreams, and last night I had one of these crazy dreams that I was stuck in a damn elevator. And Rosalind don't do elevators. <laughs> I don't do elevators. I do not like them whatsoever. They creep me out, and I don't know why, but I got stuck in the middle of these elevators. So I had to go look that up. And basically, it, but I was going up. I wasn't going down. I wasn't going sideways. I was going up, but I was stuck in between the doors. I think I was in an apartment complex. And I was going to go get something from the vending machine or something like that. And then the the doors they didn't open up the same way you know usually the you know the car doors open up but this one you know the main doors open and then the second one open so I was just like you know I'm like what's going on here but obviously I'm glad I woke up from that dream because you know it's just like when you guys when we're going through so many things you know like I said. You know, they come, you know, it, it's just like when there's something that you know you need to change and you need to step back and reevaluate yourselves, you know, it's just that you need to go ahead and, you know, reevaluate yourself and step back and just, just don't allow things to get the best of you. And sometimes, you know, that's hard to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like when I send these videos out, you know, I'm human just like you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have our days where, you know, when you're going through your journey, it's not going to be a bed of roses. It's not. But when you know you have a blessing, you just can't. You you just can't keep being stuck in that same spot. You know you can't keep going over and over and over again because you're gonna miss out on good things that are coming around you. And it's just like there's so many good things going around. I just can't let this one thing about this one person get the best of me because it's just like you know they don't want to change. Okay, he don't want to change. That don't mean I can't change. You know what I'm saying? I know I got a good character about myself, you know, but I'm learning every step of the way that what I need to do and what I need to change about myself. And it's just like when you deal with narcissistic people, they don't like it when you call them out on their flaws. They will make everything about you and it'll be your problem and your, you know, you don't have a life. You don't have this. You don't have that. And it's just like, you know, when you deal with narcissistic people, it's, it's just like they will post the blame on you. So if you happen to go through something like that and they try to make it seem like it's all your fault, it's not because it's just they, they want to post the blame on somebody else other than them admitting that they have issues themselves. Like me, I will sit up here and say I'm not a perfect person. I'm flawed as I don't know what. And I have no problem admitting that because, you know, I'm learning you know, you, you when you're trying to better yourself every day, you don't have that issue where certain things will pop off when you least expect it, especially when you're in a good mood. Like today, 
you know, I just sit up here and told him that I gave him a hug and I told him I forgive you. And he don't look at me like, you know what, I told him to forgive you for being an ass. <laughs> and he was looking at me like, you know what, whatever. But he never apologized to me, even though I was waiting for that apology, but I knew I wasn't going to get it. Because he's not sorry for nothing he put me through. But I said, I'm not forgiving you for you. I'm forgiving you for me. Because I need my blessings. You know what I'm saying? So I can't sit up here and allow things like that to be hold me back like that. Because it's just like, I know I'm a better person. And it's just like when you, you know, like I tell you guys, but when you have a journey and you got a goal that you, you know, I really don't like using goals. But when you got a main subject that you know you're trying to get to. Don't take your eyes off of that, because that's what they want you to do. And it's just with him, he wouldn't want nothing good happening for me anyway. But it's just like, when people do harm to you, especially when they're doing it, just because they're, you know, I can't, I keep telling myself, don't take it personal. Because you ain't the only person he's done that to, and he's going to keep doing it until he decides he wants to change. So, as long as you know you're changing, and you know you don't want to bring yourself out of character like that, I said I had to let that go. Because it's just like, I got too many good things going on for me, for me to let this hinder me. I'm not going to let this pull me back. So, I'm not trying to, you know, I just, you know, I felt in my spirit, you know, I, I had to share that with you guys. Because it was just like, when I had that dream, you ain't talking about a sister got on her dad on me so bad. And I was like, oh Lord, please, what do I got to do? What I got to do? Because, you know, when I started having apocalyptic dreams, you know, my daughter came to me a few weeks ago like, Mom, are you dying? You know, because I had a dream that you were dead in your bed and this and this and this and that. And it was some weird outlandish dream like you find, hear about that in a horror movie or something. And I already knew what it meant. But I was like, you know what? Everybody dies. She's like, what do you mean? What are you trying to tell me? And I'm like, everybody lives to die, baby. It's the circle of life. But this is just forewarning you that basically your mama is about to go through a major change. And the old heart is dying, and the new one's got to be rebirthed. That's all that means. So it's just with this, it was just like I'm, I'm, I'm getting that power. But I, it's like I had, you know, the dream was basically telling me that I was going out of control. You know, I was letting the situation get out of control, and I needed to take control back over my life. I said, "Oh, get them keys back, cause he over there staring the hell out of you. Don't do, don't you let him do that to you." So I had to snatch them keys back and say, "I'm driving." I'm driving. I'm, if you want to get in the back seat, you can, but I'm, you know, I'm driving this car. So, guys, when you go through stuff like that, don't let nobody have the keys to your life. Don't let nobody, you know, hinder you from the things that you that you already know that you're blessed with. And when you're on that blessing and you know you're that close, the devil will try to smack you down so quick because he does not want to see you excel. So it's just like you got to be the better person sometimes. You really do. Even when it's hard, you want to just. Smack that other cheek, even though you want to turn it, you want to smack that one, but you just can't do it, you know, because that makes you know better than them. But I'm not going to hold you up today. I got, you know, I got so much stuff to do. So it's just like my granddaughter just left, and I was just happy to see her because I haven't seen her in a minute. So I got to get back on here. I said I'll probably make another video or two. I don't know, you know, it just depends on how my mood is because I'm really trying to get on to everybody else's video. But when the spirit guys tell me, hey, you need to go ahead and say something, I got to stop what I'm doing and go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop by some more videos today, and I hope everybody's having a blessed day. You know, it's always Monday, so it's the start of another week. And I hope everybody is doing blessed and highly favored. And I will keep you guys in my prayers and hope everybody's doing great. And please like and subscribe, hit that notification button, and I will talk to you later. Peace. And you wild. Even drop a comment if you feel like it. All right. Holla at you later. Bye.